pieces of something. In psychology, we don't have the word conflict. Right? Especially when you are looking at the family. How are you, Skosan? We are looking at marital conflicts. That's what we, we, we call a mar marital conflict. Now, this word is a problem. Conflict. When I was doing my diploma in conflict and this studies, that word was not a nice word. Because when you are talking about conflicts, you are thinking of blood, you are thinking of quarrels, you are thinking of fighting, we are thinking of uh, antagonism, we are thinking of isms, all the isms are there. Now, just look at it from uh, this point of view. Yes, 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 my slide has been cut there. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Life is a... Uh, life is a... Uh, right. Life is a conflict. Life is a conflict. And we have a four. Who never sleeps? That four, that four never sleeps. Who is watching constantly to destroy our minds and lure us from our previous precious Savior who has given his life for us. What am I saying there? I'm saying that the devil does not sleep. The devil is always awake. When you are asleep, the devil is busy planning on you. The devil doesn't concentrate to us as a group, Pastor Sai. They, he concentrates to the family of Sai, looking at Mrs. Sai and Sai and the children, so that anything or any chance that he may get to make this family quarrel, so that this family may fight, he takes that opportunity. It is at this hour and, and at this time that we are here so that we may look and uh, see whether there are those loopholes or whether those holes where the devil can get in and beset our family. This one was my, my, my pathfinder in my days. When I, <laughs> yes. We are getting that one from the book which is called Mind, Character, and Personality by Ellen G. White. This is the copy that I am holding on my right hand. And then the, the lesson continues to say, the Lord permits conflicts to prepare the soul for peace. Right. He permits conflicts. You know, let me explain it this way. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. So the Lord prepares a permits, does not prepare, but permits the conflicts so that these conflicts can mold our characters. These conflicts can shape us so that we can be fit for heaven. So conflicts are a lifetime. This life is full of conflict. Actually, Dr. Mamur, you should have said that these gentlemen and ladies should teach their children and their children's children not to be straight line thinkers. A straight line thinker, two plus two is four, six is six. No, 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 no. This life is full of stress and turns, ups and downs. There are a lot of dark ones and down dynamics of life. So if you are a Christian, you should be able to negotiate work and everything. Then it is called that you are not a modern man, but you are living in the postmodern era, whereby they say there are no absolutes. Everything is just questioned and tried this way or the other. That's why they ask you, oh, uh, Dr. Mamoru, you are saying this, this by Ningin. How authentic was that? Because they are the post -mortems. So this life is full of uh, all these uh, jargons. Now let's look at the preamble. Conflicts are common to those living on earth. If you are not on earth, then because conflicts are not there. And it will always be common because of, number one, background differences. Yes, 
Mr. George comes from say, this area called uh, Masivingo, and uh, Mrs. George comes from this area which we call Sanyat. And they were brought from different angles by different people. They met when they are all aged, 32 teeth, schooled already. And then they come to live together. Do you think that they can bond easily? It takes time for a lifetime thing just because of the background differences. Thinking trends, differences, thinking trends, the way you think. Let me pass that one before I, I, I get hooked into something else. Thinking trends, the way you think, the way you listen, the way you perceive things, the way you see things, the way you view, your, your, your perspective is what we call thinking trends. Then personality differences. Someone is an outgoing, someone is an open, someone is an extrovert, someone is an introvert. Those are the differences that make spiral or makes conflicts. Educational orientation. As an educationist and a nurse doc, you see that you are coming from different angles. When she comes and says, you know, according to medicine, this is how we do it, and say, educational. My <laughs> So for you now, to, to land, you see, Mrs. George and George, she says, uh, uh, according to how we teach children, says, according to finance principles. <laughs> so those are the, 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 the differences. Now, conflicts are unavoidable. You can't avoid conflicts. No matter how good your family is, no matter how smooth, no matter how you are schooled, no matter how you are, you, you are smart, but conflicts are unavoidable and you will always wreck the couple. That's where the devil starts. It doesn't start with the children. Uh -uh. It starts with the two of you. So that when he sees that the two of you are of different minds, then he gets into the children just to light the fire which has already started. Uh -huh. Now, listen to this one. It is ideal to prepare and know what to do in any given situation and circumstance. Quarrels do differ. And what you have been quarreling about this morning is not what you will quarrel with next hour, but the truth is you will always quarrel. My partner, so yeah. When you are given a chance now, because quarrels are not there and we are in this room, now we are telling you what to do. You are not in a situation in that quarrel, but we are telling you beforehand. Number one, know yourself. Ah, fundis, urubuta ura kutubudi. Those is why you need to know the living. Ah, those is why you need to know all my simba living. Hey, hey, how's this in Shaman? When you are angry, you do not know yourself. That's why you tell people that how's this in Shaman? Hey, how's this? Because in a way, how's this? So know yourself. Know your abilities. When you are angry, when you are under resentment, do you know what you are capable of? You don't know. So know what you can do. And know your limitations. Number two, know your ability. They are, know the abilities and the limitations of the other part. Know her. What, when she is angry, what is she going to do? She's going to stand on top of the house and tell everyone. What is she going to do? You should know all those things. Number three, know the nature and the demands of the conflict. Uh -huh. What does this conflict demand from us? If you do not know the demands and the nature of the conflict, then you cannot solve it. What you do, do next? I do not say it. You resolve to GBV. All right. Gender-based violence. And then you come to Pastor Mbambo. And Roma, and Roma in Nidoti. Page 72, Church Manual. Violence. Talk to St. Jai. What's up there? Yeah. And this. No need. Church went to Atlanta. Apana Bruana. Actually, when Masai is a declare, he said the two are. And then how can you hit your, your other self? Because she is your other self. Then St. Jai in Nidoti. 
Lofandra who could guy because you are sure you you are mad. How can you hit yourself? Because the person who is called your wife or your husband is your next self. All right. Right. No, that, that, that one. And then commit yourself every time when you are in a conflict. Commit yourself in finding lasting solutions. Not one. Solutions. Right. Let me move very fast. Our study goals. Number one. Conflicts are inevitable in this life and they should be understood within their context. Mm -hmm. They should be understood and earned there. So that is to say, conflicts differ. As the conflicts differ, you don't need to approach them the similar way you used to approach them. Each conflict has to have its own formula because it is unique on its own. Mm -hmm. Number two, conflicts are sometimes... Are, are, are Every conflict has something to teach to those involved. Once you are involved in a conflict and you come out of a conflict without learning anything, then there is something wrong with you. It has to teach some, to you something. You have to grow from strength to strength. Not from strength to weakness, uh, Mr. Prime. My aim with this to understand the nature and the demands of a conflict before coming up with solutions. If you know the, the demands and the nature, then you can formulate solutions. The problems that people find, it is because they do not know the nature and the demands of the what? Of the solution. One solution, one problem may try to scatter your brain so that you can shake up and build up and move forward. I have a lot of examples, but then because of our time. Let's look at a conflict definition from a traditional point of view. Then we are looking at the interest, opposing interest involving scarce resources and the goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the people of the, 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 the modern age who are trying to define a, a conflict. But in actual instance, they were saying the term conflict is as popularly used, typically reflects the assumption that conflict involves not only differences, but incompatible uh, goals and win-lose solution uh, situation. Here, I am not talking about a win-lose. How can I teach a win-lose between couples? They are one. And then how can, who, who would want to, to, to lose? So, that one is out here. You want a win-win situation. I'm introducing it. Now, the current definition of um, conflict. Conflict is defined as a clash. When we're looking at a clash, coming together, bah! then there's that clash, and then that clash will bring uncertainty, will bring pain, will bring anger, will bring resentment, will bring animosity, will bring uh, ailment, will bring uh, 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 a lot of things that are involved. But between individuals and out of a difference in thought process, attitudes, understanding, interests, requirements, and even perceptions, that's what Conflicts are all about, and that's what conflicts has to be. Now, we're looking at the marital uh, conflict definition. Yes, is as a natural and inherent phenomenon. Very natural. You do not apply for it. Uh-uh, it comes on its own. Eh, Kumba, one foot is the other. My number because they are human beings, it's natural. Kumbakwa manager, Kumbakwa ning, Kumbakwa kase la chayo chayo. Yes. Why? Because it's natural and inherent. A result of different interests, opinions, especially opinions. Hey, if I had time, I was going to elucidate on that. Yes. And then and so forth. That generates opposition on spices, which generates disagreements and relationship difficulties. Because of that, that is uh, the, 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 the definition. Um, types of conflicts. I am running fast for something, if I would get time. Types of conflicts, there are three. Number one, 
emotional conflicts where we are saying there is a lack of emotional support. Emotional support. What do we mean by a lack of emotional support? We are meaning this person lacks to be appreciated. This other part lacks to be appreciated. Supposing it's Baba, and we are never paid by the chief of town after a paid day. Milo Kamchira, Kamchira, what is our What is Masara say? From there, Z, what are the things we must pay for? What are the Then Baba would want to be what? Appreciated. And at least for him to be set down, how much did you? And, and how did you use? That's an appreciation, that's an emotional support. Ah, Maria Jaisika Kwan, thank you for that on its own, it heals. Once that one lets, then there is fight at home. And number two, a negotiation. Right. Bad communication. There is that word which I wrote there. How, 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 how is it pronounced? Triangulation. Oh, sorry. Triangulation, yeah. Triangulation. Because we cannot talk, and we, two of us cannot talk, we need a third person uh -huh. to make a what? So, if uh, uh, Dr. Mamuri wants to, to talk to, her, uh, to his wife, he says, uh, Mama, when she, he wants to communicate, she will say, I will not <laughs> so there is a triangle. So let that triangulation. That triangulation can be a solution as well. Can be a solution, it can be a problem. Once we see triangulation, my side say pastor side, then there is a problem which needs to be attended to. And then behavioral a conflict whereby someone behaves strange. You know, look at the behavior, then that behavior makes you mad. Yeah. And I'm saying, you she says, yeah, I'm the queen. That's it. Oh, I'm going to go to the queen. I'm going to go to the queen. I'm going to go to the queen. I'm going to so that those things they, they, they make people not to, to come uh, to, to terms. Now I'm done with that. Let me look at the consequences of um, conflict. Number one, personal effects. There are psychological and physical effects when there is a what? Yes, psychologically, you will develop what they call uh, hypertension, which is by uh, 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 BP. And it, yes, and then you will come to me. The doctor will give you the tablets, and then they will say, Ah, your head does not stop. What do you do? Can you see the cancer? And then you come and sit before me when we have paid your money. <laughs> then I will tell you. <laughs> Take you back bit by bit in your relations, and then I will find, Ah, up and up and up and up. Then I will kill you without using any tablets, but you would have paid. You would have, should have seen that the consequence of those unsolved, unsolved uh, problems, they affect you psychologically and physically. Number two, family effects. You will get the whole clan, Yawam Bambo, clan, Yawam, Ndelele, to talk about you because you are the only one who is a problem in our family. So the whole clan and the family talks about Murora, Uyuasna, 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 And then when I'm talking about the effects in the family, even in the church, because in the church we live as a family, people will have something to talk about John. My brother, right. Social effects. The community. How can we preach Mumuri when our family is not okay? That's where you, that was the starting point. That was the starting point. Mm -hmm. So when we are not in good books with one another, with their conflicts, that, 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 that is the thing that, that, that happens. And then causes. Those are the ten causes. But I want us to look at the two. Number one and three. Yes, how much time do I have? I want to just have an exercise here. Power struggle and individual differences. 
Those are the causes. Twelve minutes, right? Let me leave that one. Uh, those ones, but I will, I will talk about them. Now, this is my last slide. Conflict resolution styles. That is second from last. Interactive behaviors. That's the style of solving the, 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 the just engage. Because as we are working here for God in this institution, we do not see eye to eye. Engage. Ask the person to come, sit down, and you do what? Talk. Mm -hmm. That's the, that, that, that is interactive or interactive behaviors. And then iron them out. Confront. There are some people who would say, I don't care, I don't care. Confront that person. Yes, it is important. And then seek cancer. Money, we don't see each other. Let's go to Dr. Mamumu our work, our, then we will reconcile us. That is interaction. Right. That one, yes, it's good, but not good. It's not good enough. Then there is indifference and avoidance. Leaving it and then say, do not talk about it. So, ah, ah, ah. Just solve but all kinds Yeah. Ah, it's why I'm a young. Pastor Dr. Matem would always say when we were in school, so Zwino Zaganaka, do we there? Zino it you If you want to eat good food, it does not come by work for it. Uh -huh. Don't avoid. Uh -uh, avoidance, no. Yes, there are situations whereby I will see that he is angry. I'm not avoiding him, but I'm putting it, booking him for next hour or when he has come. But I'm not. These things, when you avoid them, they come to you. If I had time, I was going to tell you that when a conflict is not solved, it develops to be stress. To some people, stress. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an illness. Stress is dangerous. Once the stress grows, it does not stay there as stress mild. It gets worse. When it gets worse, then you have some disorders coming from stress. There are a lot of them. And then once you get, before you get to those disorders of stress, you get what we call depression. Depression again has got some disorders that come from there. Um, depression is what we call in psychology uni order. Uni means what? One. You are always on one side. And then when this thing wants to play you the devil, this is stress because of avoiding these things. It may be. <laughs> Bipolar, you have heard of bipolar, whereby David, at this hour you are happy, extremely happy, everyone is happy with you, everyone thinks everything is okay. The next hour, pity, you are on the other extreme, no one talks to you, you break things, and all of a sudden, ah, you are on the other extreme, you are happy and everything is okay. <coughs> it's caused by these are things that you have avoided because stress comes in like that. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Right? Then there is dominance, especially ladies. They like dominating. There are situations whereby dominance is okay. For instance, when there is danger and you are seeing danger, not perceiving, but seeing danger, you have to dominate so that you remove someone from what? From danger. But this is not good. This is as bad as avoidance. Now, number four, which is the ideal, that's why we are here. Accepting the situation. Mm. We are saying here and are accepting the situation. Sit down. Before you get to Mrs. George or to Mr. George, sit down and reason to yourself. If ever you have a what? A chance. Because there are situations whereby you do not even get a what? That chance, but if you have a chance, reason. Reasoning. First, the reality from a willing point. 
I am willing here to come up with solutions. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Which are my points here? Which are the best points? Before you even talk to your wife or your, your husband, find yourself those things, those points. Demand, this one demands thoughtfulness and working towards a common goal. Then I know her. She will say this, 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 this way. Now, is that, is that? Before, when you get to her, to make her sit down, already you have some options. And she has some options. She puts on the table, this is what I'm thinking. And you put, this is what I'm thinking. You just put and pick only suitable solutions. I know never you. Yeah, four steps to resolve. Now, eliminate relationship disturbances like anger, resentment, and so forth. This book, Desire of Ages, says those who at any supposed provocation feel at liberty to indulge in anger, bold, or resentment are opening their heart to certain. Mm -hmm. So, when you are angry, anger management, if you do not know anger management, come when you're in both sides with how you manage your anger so that you may know yourself. Right. Let me move very fast. Step number two, commit to a win-win posture. Yeah, it was that yes, on Matthew 7, verse 12. But do unto others as you would want them to do unto. That's a win-win. So for your spouse, your second self, always fight for a what? A win-win solution. Then you will not fight because you are fighting for a common goal. She says the appropriate duties are assigned by heaven to each member of the church on earth. And all are to find their happiness in the happiness of those whom they help and bless. I know my time is now short now. Step number three, adopting a purposeful listening. Right here, purposeful listening. You do not listen somehow. You are listening to yourself. So do not cheat yourself here. Because you are listening to her, you are listening to him. So do not purposeful listen to the other person, avoiding censorship and judging. Just listen. Learn the eloquence of silence. Mm -hmm. Yes, the eloquence of silence. Clear the rubbish away so that the Holy Spirit may move you and show you the mysteries of heaven. Mm -hmm. hey, da, 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 that's it. Now, I wanted us to be here as my conclusion. Solution focused, bring therapy. I wanted us to look at the solution. This therapy is a serious one. When you are solving a problem, you look at a problem as it is. Who caused it? No problem. I don't care about who caused it. But there is this problem that we need to solve. Focus on the problem. For instance, let me say this. Elder <laughs> Chinauro. My Chinauro says to you, um, this is a stupid idea. This is a stupid idea. It's a stupid what? Idea. Don't be angry. Because you are so solution centered then. You are focusing on the solution. Yes, yes, I see, my dear. You are saying this is a what? Foolish idea. Yeah, I'm happy with you. Because you did not say I am foolish. But the idea is the one which is what? <laughs> foolish. Let me be again so that another idea will come which is not what? Foolish. I am not foolish, but it is the idea which is foolish, Pastor Machat. <laughs> but, but you are saying you, you are removing yourself, but you are looking at the what? The problem. Problems. And the, the problem, you are not looking at it in its holistic. You are simply saying, we want to find it solutions on this. Number two, it should be brief. Ah, do not take two hours on this. Do not take long on this. Ah, it should be what? Brief. Number three, does not look at the past. Very well, what's what it? What's what it? Hey, pa, pa, what I, what I? Ah, those leave them behind. Look for what? So 
solutions. When solutions are there, then that's fine. If the husband is looking for solutions and the wife is looking for solutions, they will find a common ground where they will be meeting. Mm-hmm. My bad. Right. Number last, uh, second last. Um, focus is on now. This solution focused best error. It focuses on when? Now. now. Not only now, and the problem. Now and the what? Then let's come up with the solution of this problem. Don't call about the problem which happened sometime. Ah, we're looking at this and this one. And if you practice this one, I, I think you won't go wrong. Now, let me give you a, a, a task. Can you go and cook more about this? Even when you are cooking, just write. SFBT, it will come, it will tell you who it helps you to and so forth and so forth. Now, I wanted us to look at, um, to solve the problem. There are courses. Number one, the power structure. Because of my time, let me round up in a sentence. The power structure. When in the family there is the power structure, the problem there will be the rolling. The rolling. He is a principal. He is a church elder. When he is at work, he chases people, uh, women at work, he chases them like nobody's business because he it is his work to chase them. <laughs> and then he comes home. Here is Mrs. Mumuri. Because this man has not derailed. He would want to chase Mrs. Mumuri like what he does to his guitars. <laughs> you see, they are not, she is not your, your workmate. The role. All right. The person who you call your wife is not your workmate. No. The kind who is Dr. Mumuri, Kanaswadana, Uka Pinda Nae Mumba, Bed Menu, Um Visa Paint. Because you are treating her like any other person. Any other person have seen her. All right. All right. You want to finish? Ah, see, if you do wrong when you get home, you are not doctor to your house. You are not even a principal to your house. You are a husband. Do the husband duties. Why don't I move from so, the rolling. Can I wear my cheating and tell you about me? you are a wife to me. To my children, you are not a teacher, you are a man. Those are the things that you fight under power structure. You take your power from work and then you come and exercise here. You come and exercise here. Oh, one of you is a phone of the Right, let me leave that one. Number two, we wanted to look at individual differences in any car. And White says here uh, in this book, mind, character, and personality. Yes, I'm concluding. She, she says here, chapter 79, here, which has to say about individuality. Mm-hmm. Since individuality is that which God has given each person to be himself or herself, marriage does not destroy her to be herself, him to be himself. Mm-hmm. So when you are staying with the air as your second self, know that she has got her wants, her own way of dealing with issues, but learn that thing so that you can have a woman in this house. Individuality is that power which is acting to the Creator, which God has endowed in every human being. Mm-hmm. So do not destroy that. And then what says that should not be destroyed. Let her to be herself, though different, but let her be what herself, and let him be to make it himself. Thank you. May the Lord bless us. I wish I know you have a lot to say. Uh, but I know that um, we will get some time, then we will wind up joining it with another topic here. Uh, Pastor Makawono.
Sina matileo shamba.